Hi love, welcome back to my channel. I'm Maya and you are watching Maya Luna Corazon Crochet Channel. Here I'm doing a crochet tutorial as well as shutting, talking on the topic of healing. But today Wednesday, so you're going to learn how to make this beautiful beanie hat. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and click that little bell next to it so that you don't miss my upcoming video. This project is very easy to do even though you are new to crochet, you will learn and how to make this in just a couple hours you will be able to make this hat as well. In this video I'm going to show you how to make the hat only but if you want to learn how to make pom-pom as well just leave your comment down below this video and I will make another video for you. So we're going to start from slip knot and we're going to do the band part, the band area. You're going to chain it, it doesn't matter what size are you making you're just going to chain it plus one because we're just going to start with the band first. When you got the chain, add chain plus one. Now you're going to add a single crochet in the second chain from hook and you're going to add one single crochet in each of the chain across. In the end you will have eight single crochet. And when you got already the first row, now the second row is going to be a little bit different because we're going to make this kind of um, texture, you see. So to be able to make that texture, we're going to do a single crochet in back loop only. So yeah, it's just very simple. You're just going to do a back loop only in many rows as you need. So to do a back loop only, you're just going to first chain one, turn your work and then you will see that that is the loop like like a v-shape one in the front and one in the back and we're going to only poke the hook into the back part the back loop and that's how we do a single crochet back loop only. And now you're going to continue that in each stitch across. Just make sure that you put the hook in the back loop only to be able to create just texture. And then when you get at the end of the row, you will also have eight of single crochet back loop only. And for the second row, you do the same chain one, turn your work and just keep repeating this row two for as many rows as you wish your band to be. So you can also first measure your head with the measurement tab. I have measured my head and it's 22 inches long. I make the band actually to be able to wrap around my head. Just make sure that the yarn will be stretched out a little bit. So don't make it too long. Just if you do it for yourself when you make the band, then you just keep, you know, use the band as your measurement tab and to see that it's wrapped around your head perfectly and not too tight just like exactly in your head because it's gonna expand a little bit more because of the yarn will stretch out like usual. So here my band, the first one I have made 55 rows because I was a little bit too worried that it's going to be too loose so I was like pulling too tight to my head and as I mentioned before just make sure that it's wrapped around your head I mean not too tight and just exactly one end meet with another end and the second one that's how I did and I end up the second one I made 61 rows and it was just perfect. So just try and see how many rows you need. Just make sure that it's not too tight. Make sure that one end meet with another end just easily met without pulling too hard. 
So now it's the time to connect both ends together. I connect both ends very easily. I use slip stitch and I did not change one or anything at the end of one last row. When I finished my 61 rows, this is the second piece that I filmed this one. So I just put the, um, poke the hook into the first stitch and I also going to two loops. Then I go into the other end. I take the yarn, pull through, and then I just slip stitch to, yeah, to connect them together. And I continue that in each stitch across until I get to the other side. And that's how I connect both ends together. So go ahead, do that, and I meet you there. Here I have connect both ends together and now we're going to do the first row. The first row is very important because it's the foundation of this design. First you're going to chain three and you just have to make sure that you add a double crochet around in the multiple of three. I have made my first row of 60 double crochet. As you can see, there is no, no stitch for you, just the end of the row. You're just going to add a double crochet in the end of each row if you have made 61 rows just like me. And then you will end up with 60 double crochet, which is perfect because that's what we want, the multiple of three. And if you make different number, just keep in mind that what you need is the multiple of three. I'm just going to repeat that. I will meet you at the end of the row. The count, um, the chain three at the beginning is only to build up the yarn. You do not count that as the stitch. And here, when you arrive at the beginning, you see that there's a chain three at the beginning. You do not slip stitch in that like we usually do the work. But this time, you're going to slip stitch into the first double crochet like so. And here, I forget something. You have to chain three, but the first row, I just forgot. So just go ahead, chain three. Then you're going to add front post double crochet. But first, chain three, okay? In this video, I did not. I somehow forgot. But it doesn't matter. I'm going to do in the second row. But just now, go ahead, chain three, and do front post double crochet. Here, how you do front post double crochet. The same double crochet that you slip stitch, the same one, the first one. This is front post double crochet. If you can't see it so clear, I will add the video for you in the corner, the card and the corner up there, how to make front post double crochet. And then the next one, you're just going to add double crochet. And also the next one, just going to be a double crochet. So the first one is front post double crochet. And then the next two stitch, you add one double crochet in each of the next two stitch. And you keep continue that until the end of the row. And I meet you at the end of the row. And here, when you come to the end of the row, you will see that <laughs> because this row, there's no chain three, but normally you see the chain three to build up the yarn. But here you just slip stitch into the first double crochet. I mean, the first front post double crochet. And now you're going to chain three. And from now on, you're going to repeat this in every row. This third row is going to be very easy because you can see now which one is which um, stitch. So the first one is a front post double crochet, meaning that you're going to do a front post double crochet aligning with the front post double crochet from previous row, like so. And then the next one, the next two stitch is just simple double crochet. You're just going to do that, add one double crochet in each of the next two stitch. And then you see that the next one is a front post double crochet again. So you're just going to continue to do that again and again. And now you're going to do this for as many rows as you want. I have made um, 
this hat in total of 18 rows for Kai. My one I make 17 rows. But yeah, you just see how many rows you want. I think 18 rows is good size. I have made 18 rows and then I plus last row of decreasing. And now come to the decreasing row. Just chain three and as usual, you're going to add front post double crochet into the first front post double crochet from the previous row. And here how I decreasing the stitch. I simply poke the hook into the next stitch. I take the yarn into the hook. I poke another stitch and take the yarn. Now I have three loops in my hook and then I do like double crochet from there. And this is how I put two double crochet into one double crochet. Again, I show you now the next one I do simply a front post double crochet. Then the next one, one more time. I don't take any yarn in my hook. I simply poke the hook into the next stitch. And then I take the yarn into my hook like so. Then I poke again to the next stitch. Now I have three loops and now I simply do a double crochet. Now I'm going to do again front post double crochet. And now you're going to do this around across until you arrive at the beginning of the stitch. And now I arrive at the beginning of the stitch. I slip stitch into the first front post double crochet like so. I chain one. And now I'm going to cut the yarn, but I just gonna take as much as the yarn I need to sew this hat in this round to make it close together. So actually I think about 10 inches is more than enough. I always have a lot of yarn left over. So just cut about maybe 10 inches. And then you are just gonna use the yarn needle to to make it, I don't even know how to say that in English, I will show you then. So that you use the yarn needle and then you will do like so. You poke the yarn needle into each stitch. That's how I do. Like, you know, one by one, like in the zigzag way. Like that. And then you pull. And you keep doing this around. This way is going to make the top of the hat when you pull the yarn at the end when you arrive at the beginning where you um, yeah where you start to do this you will see that when you pull the needle tie the the open part of the hat on the top will close and that is how you close the top of the hat. So just do that until you arrive to the beginning. And now you pull the yarn and you see that it will come close together. It's going to show a little hole there and for that I like to put pom-pom on the top. It also looks very cute. But you can also uh, poke the yarn inside. How I, how I did, I just poke the yarn inside the hat and I secure the knot from the inside so that you don't see the knot. When you put the needle inside, then you just turn your hat inside out and from the inside you can just, yeah, make a knot and make sure that your hat is secure. You can also see that uh, the insides look very nice and neat. And yeah, then you're done with this hat. Just make sure that you make a tight knot inside and try it on. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial and if you do, just give it a thumb up and share with your friend, share on all of your social media, make sure you hashtag MayaLunaCorazon. You can see that this one with our pom-pom also very cute, look like a flower at the back. But if you want to learn how to make the pom-pom, just comment down below that you want to have a video tutorial for the pom-pom and I will do that for you. All right, my beautiful family, I hope you having a good time wherever you are. And if you are not yet subscribed, please do so that you don't miss my video. I see you next time. I love you. Bye bye.